Johnny Cash was heavy as fuck for being heavy as fuck. Next one is Porno for Pyros, Good God's Urge. The only song I know on here is Tahitian Moon, which was the video they showed on MTV. Obviously, this is the band that Perry Farrell had put together after the demise of Jane's Addiction, uh, which featured only him and uh, the drummer. Um, and I don't know who the bass player was. I, I think there was just a, like, like uh, a bass player, and then that was it, or a guitarist or some shit. But, you know, that was before Jane's Addiction got back together. Our next one is the long-awaited uh, continuation of Rage Against the Machine after their 1992 debut with the self-titled album. This is Evil Empire by Rage Against the Machine, which is another hit in my book. Um, People of the Sun, Bulls on Parade, Snake Charmer... Uh, down rodeo without a face the whole fucking thing is fucking great it's heavy as fuck it's in your face you remember they had people of the sun and bulls on parade as music videos on MTV so that was fucking dope as hell our next one we're getting right down to the nitty gritty we're getting, we're, we're getting down we got two more left this one and this one right here we got the uh, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, no more. Can you hear that? Is that dope? Yeah. Baby, don't hurt me. Alright, so we got 1996's collection of... Their favorite punk songs by Slayer. So, punk is punk. What happens when you turn punk into thrash? This is the album right here. If anyone told you that this album was garbage, you could tell them to go fuck themselves. Because this is one of my favorite albums. Probably the only punk songs I would ever listen to besides Sloppy Seconds. Um, I pretty much got this right after getting into metal and wow it's a real kick in the fucking balls man oh this album is so fucking good it's so short too because you know there's no such thing as a long punk song and last but not least you could probably see it right here do you see it do you see it we have the 1996 album by the Band from Brazil, Sepultura Roots. Some people say yay, some people say nay. I fucking fell in love with it. It was the I remember when this was the heaviest group that I ever heard when this first came out because I never heard of Sepultura before. Uh, blasphemy, I know. I didn't get into metal until '95, so. But. A lot of people don't like this album because they say that they went from thrash to new metal. Um, it was very corn influenced, people say. Um, but people said the same thing about about Slayer, Diablos, and Musica. But still, everyone knows that even this kicks Diablos and Musica's ass. Uh, Diablos and Musica by Slayer from 1998. But this is the, I believe, 10-year anniversary. They do have a 20-year anniversary one, which I do need to get at some point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs, snakes and rats. That was my video for my collection of 1996 albums. If you didn't see it, means that I probably don't have it. And if I do have it and I didn't show it, it means I'm a fucking idiot. And you have to forgive me for it. After all, I do say uh, a lot. But I could switch it up and just say the word fuck the whole time. So, like I said, that was my collection. I will be putting up another poll to find out what you 
guys would like for me to show uh, what year of my collection you would like to see next. Once again, this is Uncle Jay signing off. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and check out my groups on Facebook, Metal Shirt Collectors and Vinyl and CD Collectors. Have a good day. If you can't be good, be bad, baby. I got that from the Howard Stern movie. Yeah, so sue me.